Which you guys got another video here for you. Change one thing to make Windows 11 better. That's what we're going to take a look at in today's video. Now, if you're like me, I hate the Windows 11 right click context menu. I just don't like this double click that you have to do to get into the context menu. And I much more prefer the older style right click context menu that was in Windows 10 and previous versions of Windows. So if you go into a folder here and you hold the shift key down and right click, you do get the actual context menu right inside a folder. But obviously you want to have this all the time. And I'm going to show you how you can do it with this simple registry tweak. And it will give you back your uh, right click context menu that you've always desired in Windows 11. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go down uh, to the start button and we're going to open up the registry editor. And we're going to change the registry to make sure that we have our right click context menu back to the way we want it. So let's go ahead and open up the registry editor. Now, when you're messing around in a registry, it's always important that you make a backup of your registry just to make sure that you can always revert back if something goes wrong. So click on the file and then click on the computer area here and export your uh, registry and call it backup. So we have a backup of our complete registry. Now, if you love living life on the edge and you don't really want to do a backup of your registry, then that's completely fine. That's entirely up to you. And you can skip this part and just go straight to the registry tweaking if that's what you want to do. I personally uh, believe that you should back up your registry just in case you need a backup of it. So anyway, now we've got a backup of our registry, we can now quickly check our documents to see whether we have a backup. And there it is right there. So we've got a backup of our registry. OK, so let's move on to the tweak that we want to do here. So next up, what we're going to do is go to our registry key, which is H key current user. Open this up here and we're going to navigate to the software tab here. Go here and then go to classes. So down here, we should see classes. Open this one up and then we're going to do CLSID. We're going to look for that actual directory there. So let's go ahead and search for it here. Just navigate down to the C section where you can see the letter C and it should be listed right here. OK, so now we can open this up and you'll see there is some folders in here. What we need to do is create a new uh, folder. So we're going to right click on the CLSID uh, directory here and create a new one. And we need to use that code right there. I'll leave that in the video description. Right click, go new and add key. Now we need to paste in our actual key here that we're going to call it. So I'll leave that in the video description for you. Once you've done this, click on uh, enter. And we can now click on empty space here as well if we wanted to. Make sure it's all the way up to the end. And once we've got this, we can now right click on this and go new again and new key. And now we can call it in proc server 32. That's what we want to called it here. See, copy and paste this in. I will leave it down there as well. So once we've done this, we're now done. And uh, once we've done this, now go into the folder that we just created. And on the right hand side, you should see a default uh, value here. You can see it says value not set. Double click on the default and leave it blank just like this and click OK. And that value not set will disappear. Now we have our menu system all set. We have now gone back to the default uh, right click context menu that you've wanted all this time. So now all we need to do is restart our Windows Explorer. So right click on the start button here and open up Task Manager. You can restart the PC if you wish, but this is a lot more easier. Just find Windows Explorer inside here. And what we're going to do is click restart. And there it is, Windows Explorer. Right click and click on the restart here. And you should see the screen flash up white there. And that means it's basically restarted the Windows Explorer. So now when we right click on our desktop, now we have the old school right click context menu, which I find much more easier to navigate. Now, of course, you don't have to stop there. You can actually add some stuff to it. And I'll quickly show you that as well, just so we can button this video up. So let's go ahead and uh, go to this PC. And what we're gonna do here, is we're going to go into our documents here. And if you right click in here, you can now see we do have the right click context menu without holding the shift key down. And we do have access to it by just right clicking. And we do have that back up there, which you can revert back if you want to, or just undo exactly what you uh, did in this video if you want to go back to the old menu. 
Next up, I'm going to quickly go to the run box here and type WinVer and show you the version of Windows that I'm running so you know exactly what version of Windows I'm running here, which is Windows 11 22 H2. And there's the build number right there. Now, if you want to add some uh, cool features to your right click context menu, then all you need to do is download an application or you can use one of the tweaking tools out there. There's tons of them. And you could just add open command prompt, move to, and you can also uh, put in their control panel, take ownership, God mode, whatever it is you want to add to yours. There's plenty of programs to choose from. And I'm just using this one here. And once I've done this, what that's going to do is add a bunch of cool features to my right click context menu. So let me just go ahead and now close this off. And uh, we can now take a look at our right click context menu that has some added features to it, which will make things a lot quicker. So if I wanted to open up control panel, right click and open up control panel, right click and open up God mode, which has loads and loads of shortcuts to loads of useful stuff. And that is a really useful feature right there. So let's right click and open up a command prompt terminal as administrator by just right clicking. Now, of course, you can add as much stuff as you want to your right click context menu, and this can help speed up productivity and also speed up the time it takes to get to that location. Because in Windows 11, they've buried things very deeply into their system, which takes forever to actually get to a location where you can have all that on the right click context menu. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Anyway, have a lovely day, and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.